Yo, right, everybody, welcome back to some more human or not, aka the old futuristic papers, please, with aliens among us. Ah, he said it, he said it. Yo, damn, invading aliens, they got Jedi's among them, is all I'm gonna say. By the way, that plaque right there, employee of the week, your boy won that last time, he's obviously the best. Now, there's obviously an ending I think we could probably proc whenever we want, which is with Linda Blue. I can say, Linda Blue, baby, I love you. Let's become soulmates. And I think that would end the game. I'm not sure. It just feels like it would, but I haven't done it. And then there's obviously our illegal operation here with Isela Cobble, who I've been waiting for. Hasn't shown up. Will she ever show up? I don't know. And then obviously we have her Maybe vanilla ending, which is to get the $42,000 and go live happily ever after with our sister. Good morning, Stevenson. Please join us. Are you going to speak about the Jedi mind trick aliens? Hi, everybody. Let's begin today's briefing. Yesterday, Stevenson encountered a strange passenger with telepathic capabilities. That passenger belongs to an alien species that is capable of controlling the minds of others. Yeah, we call them Jedis. We're not sure if the effect lasts minutes or hours, but while active, the victim will feel unable to perform basic motor functions, such as hitting the alien button. Some victims might be aware that something's wrong, while others might feel disoriented and will suspect nothing. We believe that this species is capable of producing an electro signal at a frequency that interferes with nervous systems of living organisms. This is a serious issue. If we can't rely on our immigration officers' minds to be clear, these aliens might get through in large numbers. To counter this problem, home security rigged the control boots electronics to emit a counter electric frequency. While active, the emissions should protect your mind. You can call it a mind shield if you like. The mind shield should always be active, meaning there's nothing to need to do about it. It's there, and it's for you. That'll be all for today, you dismissed. So it's it's just there. It's just there and that's it, huh? I... I, I somehow don't buy that, you know? Let, let's see if there's anything, like, actually visible to us. To the naked eye, anyway. What if they're just saying that, huh? What if he's already controlled himself? Could you imagine? You guys see any sort of mind shields around here? I see nothing of the difference. <laughs> nothing at all. Shaniqua? Okay, next up we have uh, Hrud, Hrudmund, <laughs> the Palma. The Palma is a carpenter from Earth as well. Everybody's here today from Earth. Okay, here we got Chantel, Chantel Carranza, museum worker from Aurora Heights, from the Aurora Gate. It's Aurora Gate, this is Aurora Heights. What's up with that, huh, Chantel? Oh, yo, look at this person at the end there. Look, now, I don't want to jump to conclusions, all right? I'm just... I just don't want to jump to conclusions. But I'm just saying. That could be Isela. Why? Because she's bald falcon? I mean... Wow. Oh, you're the one with the haircut that, that looks like a tip. Yeah. All right. Nidia Sali. Artificial gravity is your occupation. Like, are you literally artificial gravity? I'm the front of Sari Station where gravity always lets you down. <laughs> Get it? It's actually kind of... It's kind of cute. I like that one. Oh, an expert on jeans, huh? How about that? Would you be able to genetically manipulate the genes that you got in you to creep in to the planet? Let's look at your x-ray. What's your x-ray say? X-ray says everything is fine. But see, now I'm worried about your blood work if you really are into genetics. Who knows what you've been doing? Well, seems to be fine. All right, everybody. Here's the moment of truth. You're not a seller. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Well, today after a very, very explosive day eight, at least at the end, today we had a very nice and calm, chill day. Nothing out of the ordinary went down today. It's almost like the game's repairing us, you know? But check this out. We're just about halfway to our goal to get to our sister. Well, actually, let me, let me speak to you. As we found out last time, Enigmax is a drunk. He's not a wise dude that's throwing riddles, that's foreshadowing what's going to happen. No, no, he's just drunk. 
He's out of wise riddles. Yes, yes, Enigmax. You gotta stop drinking all day, buddy. I am lighter than a feather, yet no one can hold me for long. I think it's Brett. You are correct. Don't forget to breed, or you won't be... You won't be able to listen to my future... You see, the foreshadowing is done. He's just a drunk. And you, when is Isela gonna show up? Hi, Noah. How you doing then? How was your day? You know, sometimes I question myself that this job is worth it. What do you mean? I feel like I'm supporting a system that discriminates passengers by their species. I don't get paid well enough. <laughs> well, if I did get paid well enough, I'd probably be... Already have this ticket by now, huh? But again, Lynn is all about acceptance. So if we want to continue our charming ways with her. Why don't you quit? Maybe I can help aliens from within the system? What if she's hustling me? Hmm? What if this is another like alien inside thing? They're trying to get somebody inside. And how do you do that? Well, obviously through a man's heart. Where's the man's heart? Don't you dare. I'm just getting paranoid now. <laughs> the mind control, you know? Alien beggar. Maybe I should stop giving you the dollars too, huh? Well, I've done it every single day, so I can't stop now. See, I was hoping that a sister would now have an option for like, you know, I got mind control, but there was nothing here. She was going to be like, Noah, I told you, didn't I warn you about the illegal aliens? You can't be trusted, Noah. Okay, day 10. Let's see what's going on here in the world of alien immigration. Let's begin the morning brief and... Ooh. We got big things happening today. The ongoing battle between the alien infiltrators and us has taken a new turn. We found out that some aliens can alter their blood to resemble human blood in every aspect. What'd I tell you? That geneticist that we lit in? That's a person. I know they're human, but they betrayed us. These aliens are biologically human. They will pass the blood test as humans. Combined with skeletal alteration and resistance to the physical effects of anxiety, these aliens are a serious threat. This is why the government decided that, as of today, all humans are to be implanted with an identification microchip. Man, we're, <laughs> we're getting into some real tinfoil territory now, aren't we? The identification chip is to be implanted deep inside the left arm or the next available limb. Yeah, I saw you rolling your eyes, Hernandez. Ooh, boy. Oh, are you guys ready for one right now? They introduce a new system. Now we're really getting into that papers, please category. Okay, so check this out. Let's go through the old the initial steps here. You see down here we have ship validation? Mm-hmm. That's where it gets a little bit tricky now. Because there's a lot of things we have to now compare within their passport and the ship itself. So anything here that stands out for Luana Krauss? No? Alright. So let's do the basic ones first. And hopefully if there's anything wrong we could proc them with this. But we also gotta be a bit quicker now about everything. So blood testing as well. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, everything's fine there. Check this out. So now all these here, these little things that went green, could be lit up as in everything's fine but then the information here gotta check if there's one thing wrong whether this didn't light up or the daily code doesn't match this or the passport one little thing that's your alien right there so yes professional surfer luana kraus and apparently there could also be malfunctions but there's a malfunction and you tag them as an alien and they're not I guess security will question them and then it will be fine. It won't be a hit against you, apparently. So we'll see. There's a little bit of variables now, so I'm, I'm intrigued by it. We have Pradeep. Okay, Chicago, Chicago. Pradeep Chaplin. Yarn of four. Food engineer. 7287. Oh! 7287. 7278. Oh, I almost clicked human too. It's basically the same numbers. They were just switched. 
I'll be honest with you. I didn't pay that close attention to the passport numbers in the first one. So I got lucked out on that one. <laughs> Absolutely lucked out on that one. All right. Sakura Sosa. Big old bulbous tip haircut. What the hell did you just say? Mm -hmm. You need to enter. Let me in now or I'll complain to your supervisor. Oh, <laughs> full Karen. You know who I am? I'm the official drama queen. Why don't you let me in? <laughs> no. I am so excited to let you in. You'll scream. Ooh, me. Drama queen as the occupation. That's great. And she wants to speak to my supervisor. Well done, developer. I like where you're going with that one. Red cell. This one has to be human, right? Just has to. Chicago, Chicago. Sakura Sosa, Tokyo Station. Drama queen 5368. Yep. She was indeed human. I'm with the drama queen entourage. She's not that dramatic, you know, it's just an act. So we have like the entire squad here? <laughs> all right. Well, we still got to check you guys out, even if you're all together. For all you know, the drama queen's wrong with the alien she doesn't even know about. I need rest. It was a long flight. And with that drama queen on board, it was a nightmare. I know it's an act, but why does she need to act in front of the whole ship at my expense? <laughs> I'm loving this little subplot here. Okay, X-ray. <gasps> yeah, I know, I, I gotta let you in no matter what, but... You mind diamonds? Were you part of the flight? No. Well, we gotta let her in. So was I right from the very start that Azella was a woman? Apparently so. Ha ha ha! Oh, look at our dude here! Oh, you stinking knife here! Put those ears away! Put them away! And another perfect day, mind you, the, the one that we allowed being wrong, but everything else was correct. You're on day 10. 500. Special. Payment. For the shady fellow. So we'll see where that follows up now. Yo, my man. Two down. What else you got for me today? It's a pleasure doing business with you. Would you like to do another dance for me? I'm, I'm all ears. I need you to let in another passenger. I'll pay you another 500 if you do it. Who is it? Who is it? Felicia Stow. She's supposed to arrive in a few days. Now be gone. And don't mention this to anyone. Hi, Noah. I'll give you a sick. Oh, you, you better believe it. It's my birthday today. <laughs> hey, everybody. Happy birthday, baby. Yo, my dude knows what's up. God, please, no! No! Oh, uh, you know, you're doing because you're an alien, so you don't understand the, the, the premise behind calling somebody baby. I thought you were about to go all, you know, full. Hmm, that's very chauvinistic of you. But no, no, you're, you're doing like the Drax thing where it's literal to you. It's human culture. It's custom to call someone you love a baby. Lynn makes an uncontrolled gesture that you determine as the guard is equivalent of blushing. Hey. <laughs> we all thought the worst, didn't we? Like, oh no. Lynn's gonna be like that, is she? Alright, yeah. You're drunk. What do you got this time? Yeah, 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 yeah. You love riddles. <gasps> Did it say final riddle? Yep. A nose, I mean, you could you could see your nose. I mean, just gotta look down. Air it's in front of us, around us. Atoms. Atoms. I think it's the future. The future's always in front of us, but we can't see it. You are correct. The future, no one can see it. My final lesson to you is always accept your choices. It's not like life as a video game where you can replay and get different results. <laughs> are, you, are you telling me that there's uh, different endings in this game? Come back another day. Interesting. So we're done with Enigmax too. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What does it all mean? It's giving us all the teachings he can. Here's a dollary for you. All right. 
Uh oh. Oh, I forgot all about this because I recorded the first video like before I took my vacation break in need of 2022. This is how the game starts. Apparently our character always has these nightmares where the world is burning. Enigmax is done giving us riddles. Nightmare suddenly showing up. Jedi aliens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess we'll give it one more quick little day here. Let's see if our sister has anything to say. She usually ghosts me in the daytime. Good morning, everyone. The sun is shining and I'm in a good mood. So let's begin the morning briefing. It seems that things are going well. We've managed to contain the rise in the rate of alien infiltration. The spaceport is one of the top facilities in the world in the number of alien arrests arrest, made in the overall rate of successful detection. I would like to remind you all that in order to determine if the passenger is an alien, you need to conduct all inspections. An alien passing disguise can have human blood, human skeleton, but will crack under the pressure if the anxiety gets too high. A perfect chip is not a sufficient inspection to determine if a passenger is human. A passenger's x-ray can contain abnormalities even if the chip is valid. Remember to complete one inspection method before moving on to the other. That'll be off today, you are dismissed! So basically just a reminder that you gotta go through every single protocol. You can't skip because you think you got this one down. Mm -mm. Isn't that right? Yedidia, Stilo. You the crack? You know, second head will grow out, in, out of your neck or something, gonna have you crack? Yedidia, I want to see it happen. Come on, do it. Crack. Crack in front of us. No? Alright. What about your bone work? What's the bone work say? Bone work says. Alright. But what about the blood? Mm-hmm, 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 yep. All right, my friend. I'm gonna get through that chip. Julio is indeed the daily passcode. Jadidia Stilo, plumber, earth, 3045. Uh-oh. Name, Shen Yuan. Name, Shen Yang. Mm-mm-mm. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning. Morning? <laughs> Sorry, I've had too much to drink. Morning, Chen, or Chan, whichever one is your real name. <laughs> Nestor Giran is here to apparently marry his alien girlfriend. It's only legal if it's done on Earth. No, uh oh. Agustin says here you're unemployed, but down here it says you're a dockyard manager. Sorry, my friend. Now, that could be one of those things where he might be human and it might be like an error from the chip. But that's not for us to determine. Okay, we got our final one here of day 11. Raimundo Simon. Retired from Yana 4, huh? Alright, buddy. Residence. Mm hmm. Occupation, sir. Retired. Good. Good, good. You put in your work, it's time to relax. I plan to have the best vacation of my life. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I can't do anything. Emergency over it. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No. Help. getting inside no yo yo this is not a hentai no I'm not down with the tentacles dude oh no 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 <laughs> would you like to purge yes I would like to purge oh oh mama remember that dream about the world burning <laughs> I 
guess I was attacked by an alien. How are, you, how are I feeling? That was fun. It was scary. It's good that the old emergency system's still operational. Oh, it's still operational? Good. I'm glad you guys keep up on that. Oh. We suspected that the alien species that attacked you is called Foon Girl. That didn't seem like a fun girl to me. It's the first time we encounter a Foon Girl on Earth. They're known to be very dangerous. On behalf of Home Security and Spaceboat Management, I accept our apologies for you having experienced this incident. You appear to be unhurt. We would appreciate your discretion on the matter. We would want to create mass hysteria, you know? Avoiding any legal stuff, etc. To show our support to you, you'll get paid for your last inspect. Oh, really? That's it? It, it won't count against me that I was attacked? Well, why am I helping these people? Why? Now obviously the question is why? Why did they attack me? What have I done? Enigmax? Anything new? I mean, we already did all the riddles. Oh, that's new. Are you religious? Not particularly. Do you believe in freedom of the will? I do. Your choices, your thoughts, are but neuron cells interacting with each other in your brain, and neuron cells obey the laws of physics like any physical substance. Freedom of the will contradicts this. If you choose to, what to think, you alter the position of your neurons, you alter the laws of physics. But the laws of physics are true. How can freedom of will contradict them? That is good question. What do you think? Maybe we don't have free will? If we don't have free will, then should we release all criminals from prison? Surely they are not responsible for their crimes. <laughs> yes, that's a splendid idea. Okay, stop. We have free will somehow. The free will paradox is a cruel joke, but it can help you find inner peace. Some see this as proof of divine power, a being that granted the ability of free will for its creatures without breaking the laws of physics. Others see this paradox as scientific questions waiting to be answered. A, po a higher power exists. There's no other logical explanation. Sinus. Hi, Noah. Someone yelled at me in the street today. Get out of here, you blue. Ooh. How dare he? That's incredibly racist. I don't want to repeat that word. Oh, the blue part wasn't okay. <laughs> I, I just figured, you know. If I ever find this guy. It's nice of you to support me like that, Noah, but I don't want you to become violent. Just You just point me the way to him next time, right, Lynn? All right, everybody, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you have enjoyed. Keep letting me know in the comments what you think. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the video. We'll continue going forward as long as you guys are enjoying it. As I've mentioned before, January 20 for the full release of Human or Not. And things, yeah, they have escalated quite a bit, I would say. I'll catch you guys next time.